As a leading quarter horse farm in Oklahoma, Bob Moore Farms got its start when its founder, Robert Moore, began breeding in the early 1960s with the intention of raising his own racehorses to compete in the sport's highest level. I've said this a number of times. The horse business doesn't have anything to do with business. The horse business is passion. That's what drives us all. That's what drove Mr. Moore. Bob's passion was, was racing, racing horses and breeding them, raising them, and racing them. Bob Moore Farms has had some of the, the leading stands that there's ever been in the state of Oklahoma. I think he always probably had a vision of the farm as it is today. It just took him a little while to get there. Mr. Moore was an avid student of bloodlines, focusing on mares with proven families. He was always one of the leading breeders in the nations when I knew him. Had a great group of brood mares. That's what sustained the farm is that quality of broodmare that he had. He looked at them confirmationally, but pedigree was what he based pretty much everything on. That was the way he did things, and he was always right. Bob Moore himself was such an iconic figure of, of Oklahoma horse racing. He was just, he was one of the faces. Bob Moore is probably one of the guys. Guys like Bob Moore, Ralph Shabester, who had the stallion farms in the 70s and 80s were probably the ones that really helped you parameter horse racing approve. I was fortunate enough to get to ride a, a lot of really, really great horses, but Dashing Perfection is one of the top of the list ones. I mean, and I just remember, I remember the joy that you could see that he brought Bob Moore himself, won those derbies. Uh, Bob was just, you could tell he was just over the moon. And, and Philip, Philip was too, and then Bob Moore passed and Philip carried on that legacy. Philip, especially after Bob died, he became the face of Bob Moore Farms. You know, everybody, when you seen Philip Stewart, you were seeing Bob Moore Farms. Philip's done a phenomenal job. He deserves credit. Uh, when he got, when he got sick, he came to me and he said, Rare Form was standing at the Lazy E. And he said, what do you think if we bring Rare Form down here? I said, I thought you didn't want to do that. He said, well, I think it's a good idea. He did that so that there would be income for the farm and it wouldn't be a burden on the family. I believe that. And so uh, we brought Rare for him and, and we've had a great run with, with some stallions at the farm. I think he would be very proud of the farm continuing. He died in 1998 and we've had a, I mean, we, we've continued a lot of times when a patriarch passes, the legacy ends in a couple of years. We've been very fortunate. And I think that was his doing. Bob Moore Farms has thrived since the passing of Bob Moore. And they're probably on a stronger foot now than they, they ever have been.